Alright, after the short rest, what do you guys do? Coltane turns to Sorrow and says, Lead the way to Calarel. Let's finish this. Very well. Um, Wreckage is the light source, right? Uh, yes, but you can also have the light source, right? Your light spell. Oh yeah, okay. So, uh, I'm gonna cast light on my staff again, because I think it wars out after five minutes. And I head over to the doors. Coltane follows. Uh, Wintier checks the bodies, and then follows. Wintier does not find bodies, he finds pulp. <laughs> does he want to sift through the pulp? Um... With a stick? <laughs> Think of it like orange juice. Whence did he get a stick? One of his broken arrows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with an arrow. Oh, uh, so after several minutes of sifting through this disgusting, smelly debris, he finds nothing other than his own lunch thrown up on it. <laughs> oh, hey guys, look, I found my lunch! Okay, so Winter follows. I guess your sister's not there either, huh, Winter? Nope. Alright, establish your marching order. You put John Phillips too, sir. Bird wreckage there. Okay, yeah, I think it's good. And I think you should put Autumn next to a cold tame. Shouldn't the spell oh well she's leading the way, isn't she? Yeah, that's that's the thing she's leading. There we go, that looks good. Alright. You guys proceed through the door? Absolutely. I have a bad feeling about this. And on that happy note, that's where we're gonna end the session. Yay, thank you. Alright. Good for us. Nobody died. Nobody died this time. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> if we're counting from the beginning of the session, then it's like, what, five people now? How many times have I died? Like, three times? Well, you've died twice. Twice. Zaxard died, so did Zaxard, and so did Zook. So that's five people. <laughs> yeah, but they're not important. There's still people that have died. He's recreating characters. They're not important. I still remember how the first Zaxard died. That was awesome. Were you even with us then? Yeah, because one of those, the first one, the one of those crocodile like things took his leg off and then he tumbled down a hill. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I wasn't actually there for that session. Yeah, I don't think John was there for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite the surprise. It's so great. You say. Oh shit, it's cause he reached his bloodied HP. He's really dead! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I still remember suggesting having his body tumbling down that uh, slope. Oh, so Dave was to blame, alright. <laughs> Naturally. What? Who got his other character killed? <laughs> Nick? No, no, I got Steven's character killed. You also yeah, got Zook killed. I wasn't playing both of them. What? You're the one who made Zook go first into that room, wasn't that you? I know John wasn't there. Oh, oh, Zook, I thought you were talking about Zaxxard the second. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 you can... You can blame me for killing Zook, I guess. But that's... that's unfair. That stupid traps. It's ridiculous that nobody on the outside can do anything to help. I hope you're right about the... the, the next campaign being better. That's what I hear. I haven't done a lot of research into it, but, I mean, it's pretty tough to go downhill from here. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm just like, okay, let's just rush to the ending. Rush to the ending. Let's go, let's go. Let's just find Calorel. Let's kill him. And I get horribly raped. Quite possibly. But I want to find my cousin. <laughs> Too bad. We'll find her afterwards. Wait, 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 wait. I know how we can help him find her. Somebody kill him. Yeah, I was about to say, you, you want to kill him, don't you? <laughs> Can you just stab him in the back after he helps us kill Calorel? Of course. You know, take like, my yay, bow victory! Well, I'll take the bow of thunder since I take all the magic Just items. stand in front of him so I'm flanking. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Coltane goes up to shake Winter's hand, kicks him in the ball, stabs him in the face. Oh, wait, you don't take all though. of them. You, you, you uh... <laughs> you let Wreckage have the armor, because you couldn't use it, or you didn't want to use it. 
<laughs> you let them have hand-me-downs. Oh yeah, it's because it was hide armor. I, I believe in, in what the Dwarven Smith says. The Dwarven Blacksmith is a really well-received character. <laughs> by the They're YouTube audience, that is to say. How, in how fact, do they I, feel about our individual characters? Um, I don't believe... Wait, I was about to say I don't believe they gave a complete dissertation, but I seem to recall someone giving a complete dissertation on something at some point. Or it, maybe it was just on the Dwarven Blacksmith, a character analysis. I think I, I recall discussing this with you guys. I think Doug's the one who even called it a character analysis. Is that true, Doug? Does that ring a bell? Like a Probably. It's a it's a word I would use. It's a it's a it's a it's a term. My vocabulary sucks. Anyway, um, <laughs> I don't recall them really saying anything about your characters or other characters in general. I'm seeing a disturbing trend of John's characters coming in, kicking a lot of ass, and then dying. That's good that's, for us. That's all we need them for is kicking ass. That's <laughs> true, it works for the, you guys. If they do the work and we survive and become the heroes, that's pretty good. <laughs> also, as lecherous as I tried to make Coltane once, I, I don't think he's got anything on my other character who has an appreciation for mutilated corpses. <laughs> oh, he and Wreckage would get along so well. <laughs> Wreckage has a paste fetish. You mean pulp, right? What's the difference? That's true. I can only imagine what orange juice does to him. So what are your thoughts on kal -El? I love how John describes him as an incompetent fool, because it works wonderfully with us. Yeah, because we're not that competent. Exactly. Other than that, I wasn't paying attention to what they were going on about him. Who's Calarel? <laughs> Calarel is <laughs> supposedly That's a the big bad guy. I can guarantee Who's Calderon? Is he the uh, the mayor of uh, Winterhell? <laughs> if you mention his name next week, I can guarantee I won't remember who the hell it is. Oh, by the way, did you guys get the part with the uh, the the false password? No. I wasn't paying attention. Well, I I heard it mentioned, but I assumed it was something I had nothing to do with. That is true, Doug. I don't understand why they gave her a false password. Like, deliberately planted? It's like they expected her to die? Just more proof of their incompetence. And they expected whoever to loot her body, and find a note, and <laughs> use the passphrase. That doesn't Shadow sound Pokey. very incompetent to me. That sounds like a it trap. Just seems, it just seems kind of random. There's a lot of assumptions in there. Well, I mean, we have a Also, did, did, did you get what um, Sorrow was saying when she was saying that Ninaran basically had no point spying on Winterhaven in the first place. That's a good point. Again, everything goes in one ear and out the other. In fact, how did you find out about this whole Shadowfell Keep thing? I don't remember entirely. Maybe it was, what was his name, Valthron the Prescient? Or maybe it was the Mayor? Someone just sort of mentioned it? Unless it was Iron Tooth. The kobolds. I, I really don't remember. Yeah, it's, it started off that kobolds were attacking, correct? You remember the start of the, the yeah, campaign, yeah, yeah, the kobolds, yeah. and Iron Tooth, and all that. So from there, how did you find out about the keep? Was it from the goblins and the kobolds? Well, the goblin, Iron Tooth, and the kobolds. Okay, basically, what I'm what I'm getting at here is. Winterhaven is just this little town, like minding its own business. Calorel is going to to Shadowfell Keep, some distance away from Winterhaven, to open up this seal, and he is concerned that the people of Winterhaven will somehow clue in to the fact that something bad is going on in this place that they never visit, because they're afraid it's haunted. So he sends a spy there and he hires a bunch of goblins and, and, and kobolds to go attack the city to draw attention to himself? If he hadn't hired anyone, you guys would have never known that he was doing anything, and he would have been able to just open the seal. He sounds like a generic villain in any game. Exactly, he's just a big moron. Well, that's why he's letting Tiefling hang out with us. Uh... <laughs> When you say he's letting her hang out with you, what do you mean by that? That he's being an idiot. Wait, are you of the impression that Calarel sent 
sorrow to go help you guys? <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying, you know, that you know he's letting the good talent go. <laughs> yeah, it's like he's got all his minions huddled up, and I'm sure Sorrow's like, hey, shouldn't we, like, grab all of our strongest people and go hunt down these Drogons when they're, you know, uh, camping, or, you know, sometime when they're weak, and he's like, no, we must keep all of our minions spread out in increasingly difficult waves. Just he's just such... He's just such a terribly written villain. It's it's like he's reading from the evil overlord list, or or he has this book on like how to be a villain, and he's just trying to like copy Hollywood people. And well, I gotta do it this way because that's the way they do it in the movies or in video games. Like, wh wh what do you think his purpose in all this is anyway? Generic. Fit. Maybe on a subconscious level, he wants to get his ass kicked. Yeah, he's a masochist. No, uh, the other one. I don't know what the other one is. Sodomist? No, no, masochist is the right word. <laughs> yeah. Sodomist is something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're thinking of, uh, a sadist. Yeah. <laughs> sodomist. No, no, ma masochist is correct. That's why sorrow yeah, left. No, but... Sa That's sadism is causing pain and suffering in others. Yeah, masochism no, is... Meant the, or when he said so. the opposite, I meant that's what he was thinking of. Why are we sitting here psychoanalyzing him anyways? Is there even any point?